Hello. Today I'd like to present the Unger reverse osmosis machines, the RO30G and the RO30C. With each machine comes these parts. You have your conservation tube that goes when you're in the conservation conservation mode. Your operation manual. Here's the hose for all the concentrate that's going to be let out at the in the process. This is the key for your pre-filter. And this is the key for the resin filter. Okay, so let's get started. This hose comes from your tap water, and you're going to connect it right here to the pre-filter. This hose goes from where the clean water comes direct to your pole. You're going to connect that right at the end. This is your concentrate hose. As you can see, I've already attached it for you, and this is where the concentrate is going to go back out. When the machines are shipped, they're shipped in conservation mode. The first thing you need to do is you need to turn this valve on, allowing the water to go through your pre-filter. It's going to come up through this hose, and this part is very important. This has to be connected because the conservation fluid is not allowed to go through the resin filter. After that, it's going to go through, and you need to turn on your pure water side, which the hose is connected to go to your hole. So after your system has been cleaned for 30 minutes, you can now attach the polishing filter on. To do this, you want to turn this valve off, leave this valve on, and then you can take apart this connection. The right hose connects to the right side. The left hose connects to the left side, and now your polishing filter is in the system. So now you want to get started, you're going to turn on this valve, and then connect to the electrical socket. So now the resin filter is going to fill completely up with water. Something important is right here is our air vent. In order for the TDS meter to work properly, you have to press down on this air vent and release all the air that's inside. Now it's good and your TDS meter will function properly. So now I'm going to clarify how the reverse osmosis machine actually works. The water comes in from the tap, through the valve, into the, the pre-filter. From the pre-filter, it goes through here and you can see the pressure gauge. And the water is then going to travel down this hose into the pump. Once the water is in the pump, the water pressure is going to be raised and the water is going to come through this hose all the way up to the top and it's going to go inside the membrane. So at the top there's another water pressure meter and this pressure meter shows the amount of water pressure in the membrane. Right now it's at 8.5 bar. Ideally you want that to be between 8 and 10 bar. If the water pressure in the membrane goes over 10 bar then you can adjust that using the valve at the very beginning of the system. So the water is then going to be pressed through the membrane and at the very bottom there's three hoses that come out. One is the concentrate that goes direct to the back side. The second goes directly into the pump to be recirculated into the system. And the third is your clean water that's now coming out of the membrane and traveling up into your resin filter. So the water now coming into the resin filter is 98% clean of minerals. Once it travels through the resin filter and comes out on the other side, that last 2% has been eliminated and now you have 0% minerals in your, in your water. 
So the pure water then is going to come down this hose, down into the automatic pump control, which is then going to come out through this output to your water fed hose. The automatic pump control regulates the system so that if you turn one valve on either side off, the pump will automatically turn off so that your system is not run without water. Then, when you want to turn it back on, the automatic pump will turn on automatically. If for some reason the pump and system isn't working properly, all you have to do is push this red button for a restart. Now we're going to change the pre-filter. First, I'm going to close this valve. I'm going to leave this valve open to allow for the pressure that's already still in the system to release that water. Then, take off the connection to your tap. And at this point, I'm going to take my pre-filter key, put it on the filter, and loosen it and then you can take it off easily with your hand. Now we take out the filter that you want to change, take the water, throw it out. Once you have your new filter you're just gonna put it inside the canister and screw it back onto the system. Get it nice and snug and tighten. It is recommended that when you have a dirty filter to have it changed on a regular basis. The only difference between the RO30G and the RO30C is the pre-filter. If you have chlorine in your water, you're going to want to choose the RO30C. The difference being the, the carbon filter. To change this carbon filter, you're going to use the exact same procedure. You're going to turn this valve off, leave this valve open to allow for the water pressure to escape the system, and you're going to disconnect your hose. Take your key, Put it on the filter and twist. Grab your filter out of the container. Now you take your new filter, put it in the bucket. and screw it back onto your system. Use the key once again to get it nice and tight and then you're ready. Now depending on how much chlorine you have in the water that determines how often you have to change your filter but check your uh, user manual and everything is stated inside there depending on your chlorine level. If you happen to have bought the RO30C, but you're going to a place that doesn't have any chlorine in the water, then you can also buy this filter, this is just your normal filter, and put that in uh, replacement of your carbon filter. Now we're going to change the resin filter. Usually, if you look at your TDS meter, and the in and out PPM is the exact same, that's usually a good sign that your resin is uh, done. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to unscrew this piece. If it's a little too tight, you can use a wrench in the back. And then careful, there's a plastic piece back behind it. 
You're going to grab your key, slip it on. and loosen the filter. Be careful because this is usually going to be filled with water. So, now you're going to empty out the water from the canister. And take out your filter. Now there's two options. You can either buy a new filter from Unger and switch out completely, or if you unscrew this cap, take off the barrier, you can empty out the resin. So Unger gives a 25 liter replacement bag of resin and you can take that resin and pour it back inside the canister put the top back on and tighten it down now we're gonna put this back in to the container make sure that your seal is facing the top screw the container back in to the system take your key slip it back on and tighten it Don't forget your plastic piece goes in behind the container to support. Bring the strap in front and you're going to screw the screw back on to make sure that the strap is good and tight. Now you're ready to go. Now we're going to put the system into conservation mode. What we're going to do is unscrew these two hoses, take the double-sided threaded piece that you got when the, uh, part, when the system was delivered, and screw them together. What this does is it makes the water that you're about to put in not go over the, hearts, the resin filter which can damage it. We're going to take off our filter. Put your key on and unscrew it. Take your filter out and then empty the excess water in a bin. Now we're going to put this tube with the holes at the bottom in the base and take your preservation liquid and pour it inside. Once you've got that taken care of, you're going to very carefully screw this back onto the system, tighten it, and then grab your hose from the tap, attach it to the system, and turn the system on. You're going to let this run until out of the concentrate tube all the green liquid 
or some of the green liquid comes out. Once that is, turn the tap water off, and now you're ready.